Hello and welcome back to part 21 of Brentford Moneyball approach with me Liger and as you can see we're 14 games into the Premier League season now and we've actually had a strong showing in the Premier League. Six wins, three draws and five defeats and the five defeats we had a disappointing one against Fulham. Other than that four to be expected ones really against City, Chelsea, Liverpool and Arsenal and that's left us in ninth place. As we come into this game against Sheffield United, not much team news. Uh, got a couple of injuries going on at the moment. Miaga out due to return tomorrow. Uh, Rico Henry picked up a dislocated shoulder and he's out probably two to three months. And Eric Bottheim is out three to four months with a broken ankle. However, he has already arranged a transfer to Boca Juniors uh, since the summer. He's um, just been a bit of a grump. He's not been happy when we brought replacement, or not necessarily replacements, when we brought um, other players in to strengthen the squad. He was not happy about it. And he has a 20 million release clause in his contract. So I said to myself, if anybody wants to meet that, I'll quite happily sell him. And Boca Juniors have done just that um, 20 million up front. And as you can see, I don't think we're going to miss him. I think we're happy to have the 20 million. But enough of that. Let's go stuff Sheffield United. And the team we're putting out to do that is Ryer in goal, Thompson, Amaragic, Wolfenden and Cruz at the back. Silva, Jensen and Norgard in midfield. Maulida, Benrama and Watkins up front. And Sheffield United come into this, uh, I think down in 15th. So I'm going to say I expect a win. Yes, we are away from home, but we've been playing well. We haven't scored too many goals since Moise Keane has been out of the team. He picked up an injury, um, but he's just returning to fitness. But he's grabbed, uh, I think, five or six goals now for the season, Moise Keane. So slowly but surely paying um, the money we invested in during the summer. Sheffield United have the ball here. Hopefully our defence can keep sturdy, like a clean sheet today. Ball's come into the box, we haven't cleared and it's nodded home. And we have plenty of players in the box. How how on earth they've put that in the back of the net for a while is beyond me. As you can see, we're a bit slow closing the ball down. Cruz doesn't really get it. And then three players not picking up the Chef United attackers there. And, uh, there goes our clean sheet hopes for the day. As you can see, nearly half an hour on the clock. We dominate in possession, 64%. Just lacking that spark of creativity. Um, I suppose that's what you get for um, playing a bit, a bit more, not necessarily defensively minded, but we're tightening up at the back and there is a bit of creativity um, lacking because of that but long spectacular effort there from I think that was Jensen I wasn't paying too much attention just wide of the goal Jensen crosses oh, it's a shot a goal Norgard picks up the rebound but he's offside that's unlucky there from Jensen well this is more like it we're starting to get the shots on goal now still hammering the possession so we need to do something with the ball now to make it count. Coming to half time, absolutely going to be seeing assertively show me something else. There's uh, no other option there for me. Sheffield United come out on the attack after the second half restarts. They work it wide. And what a goal from Jack O'Connell. Uh, we've left him on mark and he's absolutely punished us there. And just as I was praising the defence, having a shocking day at the back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this up. I'm going to go a bit more direct. And what substitutions do we make? I think we're going to bring Moyes Keane on from our leader, uh, push him up front, let Watkins play out wide. Uh, 
not really much happening in the midfield. I think we'll take Jensen off and bring Raheem Harper on. I think we will make all three and bring him Bueno on this right hand side for Ben Rama. And I think that's just appalling. Gonna have some creativity. And as I can see down here we're having a lot of shots but long range efforts. So I'm gonna ask them to work it into the box as well. See if we can counter that somewhat. been utterly appalling today but we've got a corner here Philippe Cruz whipping it in nobody can get on the end of it Keane can't get his shot off and Sheffield United get the ball clear and Philippe Cruz does well to uh, track back there pick the ball up start the attack again from Raya it looks like the highlights still going so promising that we've still got the ball something's still obviously going on Watkins Works it out to Mbemo, looks to cut inside, does onto his left foot and it's tipped over from the keeper. Good effort, but it's another one from the edge of the box. Just, just a complete lack of creativity. But we've hit the crossbar with the corner. There was a chance to get back into it. And I think 10 minutes on the clock, if we were going to have any chance of getting back in this game, that definitely had to be converted. And the resulting corner is a bit of a tame head at that time. And I'm going to go to very attacking. There's uh, nothing to lose now, but probably our dignity. But we're already 2 0 down. Felipe Cruz coming down this right hand side. Beats one. Short pass inside to Embuemo. Decides to slow the play down. Back to Bernardo Silva. But he finds Watkins on the left. Can he beat his man? He chooses not to cross it into the box. Norgard with a header from the penalty spot, and it's wormed its way in that bottom corner. And the keeper probably should have done better there, but I'll take that. And we're in with the smallest of chances. We've got five minutes on the clock, but I don't think that's going to be enough. And it comes to a miserable defeat over in Sheffield. And far from pleased with the team. Seems to have fired them up, but it's not really done anything. And I thought Sheffield United were doing better than that. They were bottom of the league and we've gifted them three points. That was a game that we have to be winning. But we're coming up to halfway through the season. Uh, ten points clear of the relegation zone. So we don't look to be getting dragged into that relegation battle. But if we keep giving away games like that, throwing points away, we could be in a battle before long. But if you want to see what happens in the next episode, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for watching.